trying to install the awesome Fortnite game in your mobiles, but sadly you couldn't just because every time you do it, you are getting an app not installed error and you are trying to fix it. So your wait is finally over because I am going to tell you the basic reasons as well as their fixes to prevent this error. Hi this is Ankit and you are watching Absolutely Techie. Stay tuned after the intro for more information. Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are going to see why we are facing sometimes app not installed while installing the Fortnite APK. So we'll quickly head towards our browser and first see how we can download the official Fortnite APK. So here is the website and there you can see all those older versions also. And I've already clicked for the latest version. So we'll click this download APK file. And this download tutorial I am giving because in my previous video some people have asked how to download. So this link I'll click to in order to download and once this final page comes and if the download does not start automatically, we need to click this tap here button in order to download. So this has prompt me and as I have already installed it, so I'll skip it. But if you don't have it, you can click OK. So I will quickly go to my file browser and open the downloads folder. So here you can see that file has been downloaded already. So this original one is the actual one and the above one is the one which I have modified. So first I'll quickly install the official one. So let it get installed and here it's installed and let's see if it works or not. So sadly guys thumbs down and it's not supported in my mobile. But there is no need to worry guys because I'm already having the modified APK which works and bypasses this device compatibility check. So I'll quickly again go to my file browser and start installing the above one which is modified by me and I've already created one video in order to tell you how to edit it and install it. I'll give the link in the description as well as you can see in the i button. So I'm installing it and there you see guys, you can see this app not installed is coming. But why is this coming? We have so many reasons but I'll tell you one by one. So we'll click done here and we'll quickly head towards our app drawer and see if any Fortnite APK is already installed. And there you see guys, this is the culprit which we have already installed. So ideally it should not be there and we need to uninstall it. So we'll quickly uninstall it. So now it's uninstalled and I'll again go to my file manager and try to install the updated APK again. So let's click it. So again it's asking, we'll click install and I'll fast forward it to see if it works. So there you can see it's installed and I'll open the app to see if it works, fingers crossed. So it's initializing and let's see if the downloading works. So there you see guys, the downloading has started. Yes. So here as of now, I've told you the one reason why this app not installed comes sometimes, but there are other reasons also why this app not installed comes sometime. So we'll quickly head towards our setting and I'll tell you another reason why sometimes app not installed comes or during game optimization the game exits so the reason could be the storage so you can see i have 32 gb of internal storage and only 12.37 gb is used but sometimes you might not be having enough storage so ideally we should be having 2 gb or more free in order to have fully functional Fortnite game working. So if your space is not there, then you can delete some of the unnecessary data and try installing again. So these are the two main reasons, but there is another reason, which is the device compatibility. So we can see the device compatibility in Antutu app. So I'll quickly open the Antutu app and see what is my device configuration. So here, once it opens, you can click on my device and here you can see brand name, model number, device, board, hardware and Android. So Android should be at least eight or more. So mine is nine. So that supports and we can go to storage and see how much RAM is there. So ideally three GB or more RAM should be there. So I have three GB, which sometimes in MB you can say as two, seven, three, seven. That is three GB actually. And CPU should be 64 bit. And here I have a MediaTek processor and type you can see as 64 bit. So all the device specs are also okay. So these are the three main reasons why sometimes we face this app not installed while installing the Fortnite APK. So worry less and play more. Long live Fortnite. If you appreciate my efforts, please hit the like button and give me a visit on the pillow platforms. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.